Hey guys, it's Two Sheiks here, and welcome to a uh, how to install either mod two uh, tutorial. It's going to be really simple. You should be able to do it within a couple minutes, and uh, and be on your way playing either two. Uh, now, everything you're going to need is going to be in the description below, so you're going to need to download all of that. Um, so first of all, you're going to need is the program called Multi MC. This just creates instances of Minecraft, and it's really helpful for installing mods um, if you want them separately. So I've got my shaders instance here and Pixelmon instance, uh, and then I've got you know a clean Minecraft over here. So what you're going to need to do is create a new instance once you've got the program. It's going to load all of the different Minecraft versions since uh, one to 1.5.2, which is the latest. Um, but you're going to need to change it to 1.5.1 .1 because that's what the latest A like A the two just came out, and it's only for 1.5.1. .1. So you're going to need that Minecraft version, and then we're just going to name it A the two. You can name it whatever you like; doesn't really matter. Um, next, you're going to go to Edit Mods, and then you're going to need to have these three folders: the A the mod folder, um, the Player API, and Render Player API. These will all be in the description below, as I said, and they'll also be on the Aether 2 uh, Minecraft forum thread. Now, first of all, you're going to need to get Forge. This is important for the uh, for Minecraft to load the the mod, and then you're going to get the latest version of 1.5.1. Once it has downloaded that, all you're going to need to do is drag and drop the folders into their correct tabs. And uh, and you'll be able to play. It's really that simple. So now that Forge is done, we're going to drag and drop just these two: the Player API and Render Play API. We're going to put them in the Minecraft .jar, jar tab, and you just drag them into there. That's all you need to do. And then go to the Mods tab, and drag the Aether Mod folder into there. And that's it. You've you've installed it. You've done. And uh, you just click Play over here. You log in, you do your username and stuff, press OK, it's going to log in, then it's going to download a fresh version of Minecraft for you in the multi-MC uh, folder. Um, this may actually take a while, uh, so I'm going to cut it and I'll, and I'll come back when it's done and just show you guys it, it's all installed. Alright, so it has finally finished um, downloading Minecraft and now it's just going to quickly download Forge, and it only does this for the first time you load the instance. It doesn't do this every time you need it, you want to play. Only the first time. So it's nearly downloaded everything. It's starting up Minecraft. Here we go. It's about to start. Oh, no. Okay, we're having a bunch of issues, I think. No, okay, there we go. So <laughs> it was giving me a lot of uh, errors. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't errors. Anyway, uh, here we go. We started Aether 2, and then it's going to give you this menu here. You can play Aether 1. Uh, I'm not sure what left Minecraft is actually, but you got Minecraft and then either two. Um, you go launch menu, and there you go. You're at the, you're at the start. You can join the either official either server. You can you know you can do multiplayer, single player, everything. And then uh, there's also a game here called Tug if you want to go check that out. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave a like down below if you, if this helped you. Hopefully it did. And uh, leave a comment, and I will see you guys later. Uh, have fun playing either.